Okay, so come with me over here. We're going to take my collected food scraps and add it to my compost pile over here. Let me just set this down for a minute. Open one of my compost piles. Here's one. I got another one over here and the third one back there. <clears throat> but for now, we're just going to add our collected vegetable scraps. And don't forget, right there, very important, your used paper towels. Not the ones that have strange contaminants or toxins or sprays on them. But I literally clean my cupboards with everything with vinegar, straight vinegar. So after I clean, you know, cut up my vegetables, I use paper towels with vinegar to clean my cupboards and then I throw them also in my compost pile. The paper towels, the wet vinegared paper towels slathered with like leftover vegetables is great for your compost too. So don't forget those. So we're going to throw those in there. Look, I got orange peels, banana peels, potato skins. I even got a toilet paper roll in there because it's nice natural cardboard. I got apple, cores. You're probably not supposed to put the seeds in there, but as long as they're in there, they probably won't grow. Unless, and if they do, so what? Um, an avocado uh, skin. I got to get that peel off of there. I forgot to get that peel off. I must have forgot that. More paper towels. More apples. Oh, a lemon. There's a old lemon rind in there. And look at This has only been on my cover for a week, and it's already breaking down to that. That much of a degree so those are excellent for composting and also if you want to take a walk over here to my other side of my garden oh here's some things lovely things growing cucumbers various different lettuces and kale and stuff like that oh here's some mint and some clovers well let's take a walk over here to our tree where we have natural mushrooms growing and I am going to add this, these mushrooms to my compost because they are well past their time. You see they grow from rotting trees. And this is just natural. I didn't plant this at all. This is just naturally growing from my tree. But I'm going to take this off and add it to my compost. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I was too afraid to eat these mushrooms even when they were fresh and newly growing because I didn't know if they were poisonous or not. So I have had to do my research on that. And I've since found out that they are edible. I think they're sa saddle mushrooms or something like that. Just trying to bang these off of here. But to add them to the compost, at least make them useful for something, right? Um, but until I did my research anew for sure, I really, wow, this is really hard getting out this off the tree. Wow, I can't get this off of here. Holy smokes, look at that. Okay, well, this is going to go in my compost pile. I'm going to get the rest of that off there with my other hand. And uh, I'll try to... Wow! I got it! That is one huge mushroom. And that would be nice to eat once I know it's safe to eat. But since I don't know, it's going to go in the compost pile. I know there was more mushrooms over here, but they have since disappeared. So they must have composted themselves. Oh, look at that! There's dead man fingers. These are called dead man's fingers. Wow, check that out. All right, I got four different kinds of mushrooms growing over here on this tree. The other ones must have died out and disintegrated because they are no longer. I was called something like pheasant's back or something that was over here. Anyways, we're going to go back over to the compost pile and go through my little garden and my new little paved area here with the awesome bricks that I love. I dug these up from my ground and I made this little walkway here with a little elbow grease and hard work. Say hello Maxie. Say hello Maxie. <laughs> Let's go take this to the composter shall we? Okay. In she goes. And I'm not just going to put it in a hole. I might try to break that up and then stir it in. And don't forget to add your water. Yep. Nothing in there for you. And when you're done mixing it up there's enough water in there right now. There's plenty of moisture in there because you can see how dark the soil is. And as a matter of fact that compost, that's all turning to soil. This is, this is how food literally turns into soil. It gets dark, and that's where your soil comes from. So don't forget to compost. Thanks for watching.